Well, tonight we begin a series of reports on what life is like for our state lawmakers in Lansing. TV6's Houghton Hancock Bureau reporter Sarah Blakely traveled to Lansing recently to meet up with the people who represent Upper Michigan. We start with Republican Ed McBroom of the 108th District. Are as good as cows Dairy today. farmer, music instructor, Sunday school teacher, and Michigan lawmaker. State Representative of the 108th District, Ed McBroom, is just that. He manages 110 cows on his 700 acre Dickinson County family farm, and after becoming involved in the Michigan Farm Bureau, has represented three Upper Peninsula counties since 2010. If you want to get anything done, you got to jump in both feet and sink or swim. And so that was, you know, just plunge right in down here and get deep involved in a number of issues as much as you can. The NMU grad says he is most proud of his land cap legislation regarding the state's use of land. Lately, however, he has been pushing the state to revise its current merit curriculum requirements for high school graduation. My younger brother was a vocational student who's an amazing welder and amazing mechanic. To see our state's education really kind of leading them away from that as, and as if those other jobs were, were second rate, I think it's really unfortunate. Representing an area that holds 40% of the state's land mass and only 3% of its population, McBroom says the UP state rep team made up of John Kivala, Scott Dianda, and himself is truly one of a kind. We don't back down and we keep yelling until they finally pay attention to us. And whether it was the propane issue or the frozen pipe issue this past winter, um, yeah, when we, we started yelling about this. It took about two weeks on the propane issue. Despite the victories he's achieved during his terms, he admits it's not always easy. He says one of the hardest parts of the job is that you aren't always able to help everyone. People come to me and have been obviously hurt by laws that are unfair to them and you want to take that on and you want to fight to get that person real justice and, and settle this issue. You just aren't able to move every mountain you want to move. Now running for his third term, he says he could see himself continuing in state government. But after his three term limit as state rep is up, he wouldn't mind going back home either. Just that cultural bind that I think we have up there is, is a wonderful thing and uh, allows us to communicate and share values in such a way. And it's just a wonderful place to be from and to be a part of and to try and defend. Tune into your TV6 News tonight, tomorrow, for the next part in the Lawmakers Live series to hear more about our next state representative, John Kivala. Sarah Blakely, TV6 News, Lansing.